More and more reports are now coming out that Amazon have now started another round of application blocking. Your very popular streaming applications, some live TV applications have now been added into the blacklist. Now on my third generation Fire TV Cube, I did try to install the latest version that was available. Once again, they've detected that. And because of that particular version, they've gone ahead and permanently disabled that on my device. So in this state, I can now no longer use this application. The only option I have is to keep it in a disabled state or uninstall the application. So what can you do? Well, fortunately today, there was actually an update from the developer, as you can see on the screen, saying that he's removed this certain traffic SDK from the application. Basically, the, the malware that was allowing your device to be used as an internet gateway. Because of the detection from Amazon, he's now removed that from the application, which means if you now install this custom version, you should no longer see this message. So let me uninstall this. Let's click on OK. Let me quickly show you a virus scan of the original version, and we can now compare it to the new version that he's just released on the 6th of August. So here we can see virus total. Let's now drag in the original version of this application onto that, so they can quickly do a scan and tell me exactly what's inside this application. So let me do that now. And we can see with the original version, there were five warnings detected. So five different types of viruses or malware or just malicious things inside the application that created these warnings. Now, if I now do a scan of the brand new version, let's see what virus total says. Now you can see it's a brand new version because it's never been scanned before. Normally we try to scan an application. If the file has been scanned before, you get the results straight away. But as it's a brand new version, you can see it is doing a real time scan now. And so far it's found one alert. We'll check that in just a second. This one here we can see is not a virus. It's a false positive. And everything else so far is coming up as undetected. So the Google virus scan, the ESET, Malwarebytes, all of them are saying undetected. That's now finished. So we can see this brand new version only has one warning. This one again is a false positive. If I now try to install that onto my device. Now, before we continue, let me just quickly share this QR code that if you are looking for a fantastic offer for a ridiculously fast VPN, stay safe online, change your IP address, access geo-locked content, protect your privacy, you definitely want to go ahead and scan this QR code for a superb discount. Let's see if that installs first time and we can see if Amazon quickly removed this version, whereas I'm hoping that as this one doesn't contain any real malware, this version should stay on my device. So let's give that a second. We can see it's installed okay. Now, before I just do a test open, I would definitely like to activate my VPN because as you can appreciate right now, everybody should be using a VPN for your privacy, for your protection. With all of these viruses and malware and data being hacked and devices being taken over, I think it's essential for everybody to use a VPN. And if you want to use the same VPN I'm using, do have a look in the video description and pinned comment. That's now activated. Let's go back. Let's see now if I can start this custom version or is it blocked on my device? Let's give that a second. So five, four, three, two, one. Starts up okay. And I can now browse all of the content in here and nothing is blocked for me. Let's back out of that. So I think overall, guys, we can see now Amazon are trying their absolute best to ensure that these applications that have the embedded malware, viruses, where they take over your device, they just cannot have this kind of stuff running on their devices. So if they detect it, they will remove that straight away. So really the fix is always to find versions of these applications which don't have that particular malware. And generally that means you find older versions, but in some cases, as we've seen today, the developers have released newer versions of certain applications which don't contain that particular malware. So I think the developers have realized that, you know, you can't really, you know, push out applications which contain viruses or malware or anything like that because people will eventually find out. And when they find out, they're going to stop using your application. So really it's up to the developers that if they want more people to use their application, just follow the trend here, remove anything that's uh, malicious or malware from the application and people will then go ahead and install it on their devices again. And here we can see some of the other applications that were previously blocked, which versions were blocked and which versions are working absolutely fine. As of the 6th of August, you can install them on your device and they will not be removed. But I think it's safe to say that right now, because of everything that is going on, you really do need to be using a VPN on all of your devices to protect yourself, to make sure nobody can monitor what you're doing, to hide your IP address, really just to give yourself total protection when you are streaming 
it is highly advisable to use a VPN because when you activate that VPN, you're now no longer using your own IP address, rather you're using an IP address provided from your VPN service provider. And with this IP address, you can now unlock geolocked content. You can total protection for all of your devices, all of your applications, your add-ons, your APKs, your streaming apps, all of them can be covered with the VPN. And to get all of that for just over $2 a month, I do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. Using my link does help support the channel. So many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.